Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you should account for uh, foreign loans in terms of IS21, the effects of changes in foreign currency exchange rates. Okay, so uh, we're going to consider this question. The question is saying, Brickstones Limited, a South African brick laying company, obtained a long-term loan from Gubis living in the Cayman Islands. The term of the loan was as follows. Gubis transfers 100,000 euros into uh, Brickstone's limited bank account on 1 January 2004. The interest rate on the loan is 7.931%. Uh, Brickstones is required to make a repayments on the loan of Euro 25,000 annually in areas with a first repayment falling due on the 1 December 2004. Brickstones Limited was as a South African land is, is functional currency. The currency used in the Cayman Islands in Europe is Euro. Bricks is a third one year end. The following are the relevant exchange rates. We have the spot rates and the average rates. Then the requirements showed no entries required to record the above loan transactions in BRICS account records for the years ended that 2004 and 2005. Okay, so what's the first thing that we need to do? You can follow a, a, a four step process. The first thing you calculate the loan amortization table in the foreign currency. Then number two, you generalize the payment at spot rate. Then number three, you generalize the interest at average rate. Number four, you then calculate the, the differences between the carrying amount of the loan in terms of the local currency and the value of the balance owing and the spot rate at year end and recognize the differences as a foreign exchange gain or loss. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do uh, an amortization schedule in uh, foreign currency. In this case, our foreign currency is the euros. Okay, so here we'll be having the opening balance. And then here we have the interest. Here we have the payments. And here we have the closing balance. So we have period one or 2004. 2005, 2006, 2007. Our balance here, we have 100,000 euros. And our interest rate is 7.321 percent. Is that so? Uh, 7.931. It's 7.931%, okay? So the interest will be equal to this one, or apply by this one. And our payment is 25,000 each. So the 25,000, we can get it forward. Then we are going to say 100,000 which is the opening balance or our loan balance. Then we add the interest charge so far. Then we subtract the, the repayment. So by end of 2004, our loan balance will be 82,931 United States dollars. That becomes our opening balance for 20, for 20, uh, 2005. 
so we can fix uh, this cell so that we can just copy. Okay, let's do it manually. This multiply by this. So this becomes our interest. Then we say the open balance plus the interest charge from that period minus the payments. We are doing this in terms of USDs, in terms of euros. Then this one becomes our open balance in 2006. And we charge again interest, multiply by the interest rate. Then we copy the formula here. Then we also come to 2007. And then we say the opening multiply by the interest. Then we say something here. Then we come to 2008. Then we take this one. The interest, we say the open balance is 23,000 multiplied by the interest rate. Then the repayment is not changing. And then we have a zero. Yeah. Okay, so this is the amortization schedule in um in the euros, that is our foreign currency. So that is first first step that we said calculate the loan amortization table in foreign currency. The number two we say journalize the payment at spot rate. So here we are to, required to journalize to the journals for 2004-2005. Okay, so Let's put the date here. Then we have the details for the journal. Then we have the debit side, account debt, amount to be debited. Then also the amount to be credited. Okay, so the journal, our journal is structured in this way. Okay, so we have 2004. Okay, so the first journal is to recognize the loan when we actually took it. So we took this one on 1 January. So we put the date here, 1 January. Then what are we debiting? We going to debit the bank because we are receiving money and at what rate? At the spot rate or the transaction rate, which is 100,000 euros multiplied by what was the rate is at that date? The spot rate was eight, multiplied by eight. So we are going to credit a foreign loan with the same amount. Okay, so uh, our narrations we say proceeds received on the foreign loan, proceeds received on the foreign loan with, you can write the name K. Men islands. So that becomes our first journal. So the second journal, according to our step number two, we say journalize the payment at spot rate. So the payment that we did, we did the payment, this is a third one. Um, the payment, we are making the payment at uh, the repayment 31 December 2004. So 31 December 2004, we're going to credit the bank. We are paying 25,000 euros, isn't it? So we are going to pay it at uh, 8.5, 8.5. So that means we're going to pay this much. And the corresponding debit entry uh, will be true credit the foreign uh, foreign loan. Okay, uh, but before this journal, actually, uh, the first journal should be recognizing the interest. 
and how are we going to recognize the interest? The date is still the same. We are going to debit um, finance costs with how much? So interest, we are going to say the interest for 2004, we multiply this by the average rate. And we are told that at December 2004, the average rate was 8.2, 8.2. Okay. So what are we going to credit? We are going to credit uh, for a loan. Okay, the same value. Okay, so these are the, our journals. Then the last journal that we need to do here, we have to uh, measure the carrying amount. So the carrying amount of the loan so far, it's equal to the loan that we recognize is 800,000, then plus interest, then minus the repayment. So this is the current amount so far, but the amount that amounts owing from our uh, uh, from our schedule, amortization schedule, it is eighty two point something thousand. Then we multiply this by the closing rate at thirty one seven thousand four, which is eight point five. So what's the difference? The, the difference is 52,000. That means we need to increase the getting amount of our loan. At the same date, we are going to uh, debit. Our getting amount, our foreign loan needs to be uh, revised so by this much. And then the corresponding entry will be the exchange loss in the profit and the profit for loss account. Okay, so that will be this much. Okay, so that was 2004, the journal's 2004. Come 2005, we do the same thing. We, we journalize the interest, the finance costs, the average rate. Is it, uh, so the finance cost 2005 is this one, then we apply where the average rate is 7.7. .7. Then foreign loan, which is 7.7. .7. Okay. Second, we journalize um, the payment using the spot rate. So we're going to say foreign loan. We're going to say 25,000. That is the annual payment applied by the spot rate of 7.5. So we are debiting bank with the same amount. Then we are going to measure the carrying amount of the loan so far. Carrying amount so far. This is 2005. So it's equal to um, the amounts that we calculated as owing. Um, End of 2004, then we add interest charge, then we subtract the payment. So this one becomes our carrying amount so far. Then we are going to say amount actually owing for the schedule. We say uh, the 644, then we multiply it by the closing rate, which is 7.5. So these are the amounts owing. So the difference should be 
realized the difference is this one and in this case the giving amount is decreasing okay so we are going to debit the foreign loan with the eight four then we're going to credit the exchange a with the same amount okay uh, so this is how you would account um, for a foreign loan in terms of IS21, the effects of changes in foreign currency exchange rates.